Welcome everybody to my latest video. Uh, for this segment, I'm going to show you some minor uh, fixes you can do to your arcade monitor in case you have any problems. Now, there are many things that can go wrong with an arcade monitor, and what I'm going to show you definitely will not fix them all. However, um, if you do have a problem with your monitor and it's due to the picture, perhaps not coming up or coming up with faulty colors, um, what I'm about to show you might be just a quick simple fix and it will prevent you from having to call an arcade tech. Now when you move an arcade sometimes things come loose or you know a wire may come unattached whatever. So right now we know we got sound, you heard it, but there's no picture. So let's go ahead and go to the back of the cabinet. Okay, so here we are in the back. I got uh, the back panel removed. And if you look at the monitor neck tube, which I'll try and uh, put an arrow or something, but it's going to be that piece right there. Now the first thing is, there should be an orange glow, an orange light. And right now there isn't one. So that means something's come loose, and usually the thing that's come loose is the neck board, which is this right here. So, all I'm going to do is press it in just a little bit, and there we go. Okay, I made some minor adjustments. All I did was wiggle this around a, get, a bit. Uh, you can see it is still glowing, that orange glow right in front of my finger. So once again, let's go to the front, and looks like all the colors are good. Now this has happened to me on multiple occasions. I'll move a cabinet, this one in particular, and just something, you know, that neck board will come loose from the neck tube, and if that happens to most people and they don't know what they're doing, well, they're going to call an arcade tech and they're going to spend probably about 150 bucks to get the arcade tech out there and you know for the quick fix so as you can see that took me a couple minutes and it solved what looked like a very um, disastrous problem so now I'm going to show you another uh, problem that I've come across and I'll show you the quick possible fix okay here we are again and if you look at the picture there just there seems to be something wrong. It's not showing the colors that it should. It looks kind of dark, like something's you know just not right. Now, what most people would automatically do is you would go to your uh, tube adjustments. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but anyways, here's one, and this controls you know the the vertical position, the horizontal position, uh, the size, the contrast. So people would start messing with that thinking, you know, one of those uh, got moved somehow. Another thing people would do is, let's go to the back. Okay, another thing people would do is they would come back here, and on the neck board, you see these um, switches right here? Those are additional switches used to control the colors on the monitor. So naturally, you know something's wrong, you would come back here, you would mess with those. And after it's all said and done, you mess with those, you mess the ones in the front, and you can't figure out just what the heck's going on because, and let's go back, the color is still messed up. There's just something wrong. So take a look at, you know, how it looks right now. And I'll tell you the reason why it looks like this is because, okay, if you look on your monitor, um, I believe it's called the chassis board, you got these cables that need to get hooked up and on my installation of monitor videos I've showed you uh, which cables go where and you'll notice the red one is missing it's right here so this has come loose from the position that's supposed to go the red one actually goes in the first uh, prong right there uh, I know it's kind of hard to see but just uh, check out my other videos of the installation of the monitor and you'll see what I'm talking about but anyways, we know what the picture looked like before, so I'm going to go ahead and install this, and we'll see what the picture looks like after. Alright, 
The red cable was installed on the prong and look at our picture now. Nice vibrant colors. So there you go. It's you know those are just two tips I just showed you. It's definitely not going to solve all your problems but if you have a picture problem whether the picture is not coming up or the colors are bad before you start messing with uh, that adjustment board or this adjustment board back here just make sure that the board is properly connected to the tube and that your monitor wires are properly connected in the correct uh, area see if I didn't check this first and I would have messed with the board over there and this one you know the colors would have gotten out of whack and then when I finally did get it up and running I would have to readjust to get it to how I liked it so rather than go through all that I just checked the board the cables and it seemed to solve two very um, problematic issues so there you go I uh, hope I could help anyone who's watching uh, once again until next time that's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.